do ensure that you have a, a whole school policy for lesson planning. If you get one person doing something or someone else doing something else, it's going to have that sort of dysfunctional family feel to it. Lentry School has a two-form entry and all lesson planning is online with both Year 5 teachers chipping in. So we've looked at literacy and numeracy. Where are we going with science this week? Can you go okay, through Okay, so science this week in Year 5, we're starting our sound topic and then we're going to move through to think about the types of materials through which sound will travel. And for that particular activity, we're setting up a very practical session with the children. Excellent. Okay, Tam's in there for Year 5. Where yeah. are you about and what are you intending to do this week? We're now going to do a cross-curricular ICT speaking and listening project. So we're going to look at non-verbal communication and how gestures can be different across different cultures. For my starter, I'm going to show the children pictures of gestures and we're going to discuss what the gestures are and how they might be different across different cultures. Shaking hands. In China, they don't like any body contact. So if you went to China and shook hands with somebody, it's the height of rudeness. It's the most rude thing you can do. Tom? If you had to go to China and shake someone's hand, and that's the height of rudeness, um, you could be punished. Yeah, very good. If you go there for a holiday, you might have to come back. Yeah, you might have to come back. You might get in trouble. You might offend the people who live there. Today we're going to explore a little bit more into how we can muffle sound. What different materials could we use if we were going to go along the idea of making some ear protection. One idea from Matthew to start off with. Well, we could use cotton because it's a really good insulator and it's also quite comfortable, so it won't bother your ears. Really good idea. All right, then everything's on your tables, off you go. For the main part of the lesson, the children are going to use digital cameras, video cameras. She do another one of me nodding my head mp3 players and the laptops to produce PowerPoint presentations for our e-twin partners in Romania to tell them about the rules of non-verbal communication in England. Clapping means when you're saying well done to somebody and nodding is when you say yes to something or you reply by nodding. Should we just say something about um, what it means in their country to show the difference or something yeah. like that? Yeah. In the main part of the science lesson, pupils work in pairs. They discuss and investigate the muffling properties of various materials. That's because you're holding it with your hand. If you just like do that, it's not actually doing anything. For the plenary, we're going to have a look at some of the presentations. We're going to do a bit of peer assessment to see what we think about them. So we got three pictures with no information. So maybe we could um, add like a film to go with it. So and we're going to review them for how we could make them better before we send them. Um, well, we should explain a bit more because all it looks like to me is myself putting down my thumbs because it doesn't tell you um, what it means. What could you do to test if any of these ideas would actually work? The lesson went really well. When they have a chance to talk to each other, they come up with a lot of ideas that they wouldn't necessarily share with the whole class. So it's really nice to be able to circulate and hear what their ideas are. To improve it in the future, um, I needed to make it more obvious that there were a lot of other materials in the world which could also have been used, so not just the selection that I'd actually provided. Top tip is to make sure that you always have a purpose for your writing. So if the children are doing a presentation for their partners in Romania, they've got a drive to make it as best they can and really show off what they can do. Don't always feel you have to be too rigid. Obviously you've got your lesson objective that you want the children to achieve, but if the questions arise from the children that you want to explore, feel that you can go with it because a lot of the time the learning that comes from that is really key as well. Mm -hmm.